Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a flower house like this one in Minecraft. I'll be showing you the dimensions and blocks that I used, but you could easily size this up and change the blocks you use based on what you have and what colours you want. You can find a list of which and how many blocks I used in the description. As always, feel free to slow down or pause the video as needed. I hope you find this useful. To start with, I used a combination of stripped birch wood and birch planks and stripped spruce logs for the base of the house. I created a circle with each edge 5 birch blocks wide, with 3 blocks of alternating spruce and birch blocks in between. The birch planks and wood can be placed in any organisation. This is just to add some texture to the build. Where you want the door of the house to be, leave a gap in the middle of the 5 blocks and place spruce logs in front on either side. Repeat this on the second layer, varying the placement of the stripped birch wood and planks. For the third layer, place a spruce stair facing outwards on top of each spruce log by the opening for the door. Then, add another strip spruce log between them. Repeat the same pattern as before for the rest of this layer. The fourth layer is another repeat, but leave an empty block above the space you left for the door. Now add a birch block above the middle block on each side. With the walls done, it's time to start on the roof. Using a combination of purple and magenta terracotta, place a block exactly on top of each wall block, except from the middle birch blocks you just placed. Then extend this layer by one block around the outside, leaving the block in front of the middle birch blocks clear. Extend this one more time, but leave the three blocks in front of the middle birch blocks clear. Also leave the blocks here empty. Fill the blocks that you just left empty with crimson slabs so that the top is in line with the blocks next to them. Now place crimson trapdoors in front of the outermost crimson slabs on each side of the roof. This is how the first layer of the roof should look. For the second layer, place a terracotta block above each innermost block of the first layer, extending this inwards by one block on the corners. You can also add some extra crimson slabs or planks for additional texture. Now place 5 terracotta blocks in a cross shape in the middle of each side, like this. Place crimson slabs at the bottom of each edge of the crosses, so that they become 3x3 three three squares. For the next layer, again place blocks on the innermost blocks of the layer below, and extend inwards at the corners. Then place one block in front and behind of each middle block at each edge, like this. Now place three blocks in a row above the middle blocks you just extended, and three blocks in an arrow shape facing inwards between them. Place one crimson slab in front of each middle block on each side. For the next layer, build inwards by a block on each side, creating rows of three. Place one block in between in each corner. Then place one block in front of the middle block of each row of three. For the next layer, create a 7x7 seven seven diamond shape that fills in the rest of the empty space. For the final layer, build a cross shape in the middle of the previous layer. To add a bit more texture and an organic feeling, I placed some crimson trapdoors randomly around the roof. Now it's time to build the bottom of the roof to make the petal shapes. At one corner, on the second diagonal blocks from the edges, place a trapdoor under the roof block. On the next blocks in, place slabs. Place two full blocks next to the slabs so that they come away from the house. Finally, place a slab in between them at the bottom. Repeat this on each corner. I've only showed three corners being built, but it's the exact same process for each. Now the flower part of the roof is done, we can add the stem. Using moss blocks and green and lime terracotta, place blocks above each block of the top flower layer. Place two blocks above the middle block, then place two more diagonally above and behind them. Extend this by one more block to the side. This is how it should look. Now extend the stem shape by placing blocks on top of the top exposed pink blocks. 
leaving only the two outermost blocks on the left and right. Now, to build the leaves, on each corner build this lightning bolt shape. Then, varying each leaf, either leave it like this, or place another block above or below the outside corner. I've paused on each leaf I made so that you can see what I've done. Now the roof is finished. I then added the details to the house. I added trapdoors in front of the strip spruce logs above the door space and the outsides of the two below the stairs. I also added a birch door. Place a pearlescent frog light in the block behind the gap left above the door and then place a crimson trapdoor in front of it. I then placed a combination of spruce fences and fence gates on each side of the house directly below the roof. On the corners of the house, I just added fences. I seem to have done something different on each side, which I didn't mean to do, so maybe just stick with one of these options. Next, place some lanterns hanging from the fences that you just built and around the bottom of the house. Then place some azalea and flowering azalea leaves around the house and in front of the door to create a little pathway. You can extend these up the walls a little and into the ground for a more natural appearance. I finally added a little beehive on top of one of the leaves. With the house itself finished, it's time to build some giant flowers. Using the same blocks as the stem of the roof, build this W shape nearby to the house. Extend the top block by one to the back, then build up by one more block. Build one more block to the side of this, continuing the direction of the stem going away from the house. Build upwards by four more blocks. Then build one block to the side in the direction of the house. Build two more blocks up from this. Place another block on the side of the top block. Then one more block above this. Build one block coming forwards to finish off the stem. To add a leaf, build two blocks out from the outer side of the stem. Build one block up, then two more in front of this and to the side. To add the flower, use the same blocks as the flower part of the roof. Build a 3 by 3 square in front of the final block of the stem. Build one more block above in the middle. Add a crimson slab either side of this block. For the next layer, build outwards by a block on the top and sides. Also place a block in front of where the stem is. For the next layer, build three blocks at the top and sides, creating an arch like this. The next layer is five blocks in the shape of an upwards pointing arrow, with slabs on each end. For the final layer, create this arrow shape with a slab in the middle. On the inside of the flower, place six ochre frog lights like this. Then hang a few lanterns too. Finally, add a few crimson trapdoors. This is what the inside of the flower looks like. Now the flower is done. I repeated this on the other side of the house, mirroring it to face the other way, also towards the house. You can build as many of these as you like, varying the placement and heights. it's looking so far. All that's left to do now is to add some decoration for the surrounding area. I added some more leaves randomly around the house. I then used a shovel to build a pathway coming away from the house. I then grew some azalea and cherry trees around the house, being careful not to hide too much of the house and adjusting the leaves to do this. 
I also added in some azalea bushes dotted around. Finally, I added some smaller plants on the ground. I used grass, pink petals and flowers. You can use any plants you like, but I always like to use ones that match the colours used in my bills to make them a bit more cohesive. And that's the build finished! I hope you found this useful and enjoyed the video. As always, feel free to leave requests for future videos. This could be anything from build ideas to tutorials to any other Minecraft content you'd like to see. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you here again. Bye!